78 by 94. It took me more than a minute to solve this. But even if I am pretty bad at math, I've always found fascinating the idea of solving operations fast by only using the power of your brain. So I finally decided to get better and faster. And after a quick research, I found a few tricks that changed everything. I started by learning how to multiply two digit numbers. And when I tried the technique for the first time, I was pretty blown away. It works! The theory is actually pretty simple. Let's try for example 33 by 21. First you need to multiply the first digits of the numbers and write the result on the right. Then we leave a blank space after that and to find the last number of the answer we simply need to multiply the last digits of the numbers. Now to find out what number you need to write in the blank space you first need to multiply the numbers in the middle and then the external digits. We sum the two results and then, like magic, we have the middle number of the answer. By practicing, I realized that there are different situations from the previous case. When, for example, the middle number of the answer is higher than 10, the last digit goes into the empty space while the first digit gets added to the first digit of the result. The second case is, for example, 73 by 64. 7 by 6, 42. 3 by 4, 12. In this case, the result already has 4 digits, which is the maximum amount of digits you can have by multiplying two numbers with two digits. We calculate the middle number as usual. 6 by 3, 18. 7 by 4, 28. And we get 46. In this case, there is no blank space, but we need to add the middle number to the second last number of the result. So you need to add the 6 to the 1, and then the 4 to the 2. And the final result is 4672. This is great! It works every single time. And now I wanna see if I'm actually faster than before. So I practiced for a while to get used to the method. In the beginning, it took me one minute and 10 seconds to solve 78 by 94. But then I decided to try with a new method. I'm gonna do it on a green screen so you can see it. 26 seconds. 26 seconds! It's less than half than before. And for easier operations like 23 by 42, it took me about five seconds. At this point, I was pretty curious to see if there was a trick to multiply bigger numbers, like three-digit numbers. And I found a beautiful method which consists in representing the numbers through lines. So I took a ruler, even if you actually don't need it, and I tried with 213 multiplied by 23. We transformed 213 in lines, separating hundreds, so two lines here, tens, one here, and units three here. And then we represent the 23 with other lines perpendicular to the first ones, following basically the same concept. Then we divide the graph by segments. Every segment stands for ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. And then we count how many times the line cross in each segment. So the final result is gonna be 4,899. And it's perfect. Then I tried to not be fancy, solving the next operation without using a ruler. So I drew the lines and I divided it into segments, exactly as I did before. And then I counted how many times the lines crossed in each segment. If you get a number higher than 10, you're gonna add a unit to the previous number of the result. So in this case, 15 becomes 5 and 5 becomes 6. Then I checked with a calculator and it was correct again. I made a scheme to help you understand every step you need to take to get to the final result. Is this method convenient? Probably not, <laughs> but still, I think it's fascinating. The trick for additions and subtractions is pretty easy, but it's probably the one that I'm gonna use the most. And it basically consists in composing the numbers. For example, if you have 482 plus 343, I would do 482 plus 300 equals 782, plus 40, 822, plus 3, 825. And obviously, you can apply the same concept with subtractions. I feel like a math teacher, but pretty bad at math. Anyways kids, the last trick is about divisions. In this case, you simply need to find numbers on top that are multiples of the numbers on the bottom. For example, 208 divided by 4. We know that 20 is a multiple of 4 and also 8 is a multiple of 4. So 20 divided by 4 is 5 and 8 divided by 4 is 2 and this gives you 52. It's really that easy. If instead you can't immediately find multiples in the number on top, you can try to scompose the number. So 168 becomes 150 and 18, both multiples of 3, and this gives us 56. I know that we always have calculators in our pockets, but I mean, everyone can use this. These tricks are fascinating. 76% of you are not subscribed, so subscribe and click the bell. And if you want to build a website, which is something pretty hard, I know a beautiful trick to 
to make it easy. You simply need to use Squarespace, which is also the sponsor of this video. Squarespace allows you to create your own beautiful website in just a few minutes. I don't know absolutely anything about coding or web design, but luckily Squarespace offers you plenty of templates you can use to start, and thanks to them, I've been able to create a professional looking website effortless and in no time. Whether you're growing a personal brand, you need a portfolio, or you want to start your own company, you literally need five to 10 minutes to understand how to use it, and after that, you can change every aspect of the graphic connect your social media and add pictures, products, or create a newsletter. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain.